Hey, man, say, man, Trizzy Gang in the hood, Trizzy Gang, what's good with y'all, man? Hey, bro, we back with another UDY video, man, another UDY, hey, bro, don't mind the bonnet, you feel me? I ain't feel like having the hair out today, you feel me? Hey, bro, and a lot of y'all be trying to get on me in the comments for wearing the bonnet, bro, do your research. Niggas can wear the shit too, bro. It ain't just females, you feel me? Especially because, bro, it's really to protect the hair, like, and honestly, don't matter. I got too much hair to be putting on a dewy, bro, you feel me? Way too much hair, bro, I don't even know why I'm entertaining motherfuckers anyway. You feel me? But anyways, we got as his girlfriend cheating on him while he's at work. She most likely is. Um, but we have more faith in the females when it comes to these loyalty tests, if we're just being honest. Like, I'm a male myself, so it's like, I really don't want to have to say that because at the end of the day, bro, especially black men, bro, we don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? We really don't. But some of these dudes out here be really making us look bad. You know what I'm saying? But as for the females, you know what I'm saying? I feel like... It's just 50-50, bro, if we're just being honest, man. We just got to get a little... We, bro, all we need is like 30 seconds of seeing his girl to be able to tell if she really going to cheat or not. That's all That's all we need over here. I'll, we're, so we're going to dissect this. We're going to break this down. We're going to see what it's talking about, man. Make sure y'all got y'all popcorn. Make sure y'all make sure got y'all snacks, bro, y'all bevs, all that, bro. We here. We locked in. We on the road to 10K. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Let's get straight to this thing, man. Let's see. Hold on. Let me get. Let me, let me put my head on. Let me, let me, let me, let's see what we talking about, though. Let's see, man. Let's see. I really like this chick, but like she kind of does some stuff to me, and I don't know when you f up that little bit, it's just like I was really able to try, so then yeah, you know, thinking all the time. Yeah, I think overthink too much, and I've been drinking way too much. And it's like, ah, oh, damn. Wait, he looks faded right now. Loyalty. We'll just call her Emily. Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail this test? I'm prepared for it just because of what's happened and stuff. So like, there it goes. Our decoy Jarrett will be testing Emily's loyalty by hitting on her and asking her on a date. Will she remain loyal, or will she entertain Jarrett's advances? She Let's tells see. Me she wants to be with me and stuff, but like some of the stuff she does, like it doesn't like really like bad. Hmm. Hey, bro, I hope she's not doing you dirty, bro. This is her. She basically looks like the same right now. She's just wearing some uh, blue jeans right now and then the sweater, a black sweater. So that is her right there. Our plan was to divide this loyalty test into three phases. Phase one would begin at Emily's job across the street. We're here with Eric. He's left his car behind. And then Loki just exposed her job, bro. Thanks to Eric, we knew that Emily was working. Let me make, make sure, my, sure that she was make sure my audio straight and everything, though. Let me make sure everything is straight, bro, because it's on. Uh, this jump be messing up mid video. The audio be all messed up and then whatnot. Make sure everything's straight. On the break or anything, we sent in Leslie to do some reconnaissance. Our plan was very simple. Jarrett would walk into her job, pretend to be a customer, and then get her number. He would then begin okay. communicating with her and eventually invite you, her over. You think she's gonna give her number at the job though? Let's see. Let's see. Bro. Big house with his nice cars. V8 by Turbo, baby. Hey man. I think it should be reversed. I feel like you should ask for her Instagram first because I know she won't give her Instagram because I go through her Instagram. So she's going to say no to that. But then I feel like if you say her number, then she'll be like, okay, because then she can kind of hide it in a way. But... And so what does she usually do when she's working? Does she like walk around or does she like to uh, stop stuff? Or... No, just, she's usually just in her section. She likes a day. She just works whatever shipment she got. And then Bro, why that looks like a replica store? store. Like, that don't even look like a real works. store. Is there like. Is she usually secluded, or is there like is she like right in the middle of everybody? I mean, I guess if it gets full, then yeah, it's kind of like a little like. Okay. But it doesn't really get too full because it's not that big of a store, not too okay. many. Yeah. That bit don't even look like a real store. This test specifically at Emily's job was because he's caught her doing some questionable things with her coworkers. Like what? So you like what? Her like talking to other guys. My friend that actually is working right now, he saw. For one guy, he saw that. She, he kissed her on the cheek, I think. And oh, nah. And stuff. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude. Bro, that's not even a red flag. That is, that's not even a red flag, bro. Your girl is cheating on you, bro. Like I said, we don't even need, bro, we needed to see Shardy, but he just kind of said it, bro. Bro, we already know that. If we know that, bro, we know that she's going to cheat on you, buddy. She's cheating on you, buddy. She, bro, she, bro. She's letting dudes come to her job and kiss her on the cheek, bro. You think she's going to be loyalty, bro? That, like, that is not how this works, bro. I'm sorry to tell you, bro. That's not how this works. That is not how this works. You feel me? She cheating on you, buddy. No, no, no. A coworker. Oh, a coworker. Mm -hmm. And then the other guy, his girlfriend, uh, his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work they also like. So what did you, and, like, bro? So what did you still like, date her for? Oh damn. So one of. Your girlfriend's co-worker's nah. girlfriend hit you up telling yeah. you, yo, this is what's happening. Yeah, because she's the one that saw the messages between them. I didn't know because obviously, like, she hides them and stuff. Like, oh, I, just, wow. I never, I never, like, I guess I never really checked through her phone until then. 
And when you caught her like doing this, what happened? Like, did you confront her about it? Did exactly. you like, talk about it and stuff? And like, I don't know, like she, the way she would talk about it, it seemed like she kind of didn't care. No. Or when I came into the store to like kind of confront the guy too, is like, she was just like, I guess she didn't like really care if like I would stay with her or. And other than that time. My nigga, what? Her. Bro, so you kind of sound like you a simp, bro. You kind of sound like you being done dirty. And you staying for it. Nah, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You looking bad on this already, bro. We three minutes and 12 seconds into this joint, bro. You looking bad, bro. You looking really bad, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm looking at you like, bro, you don't have enough self-respect for yourself, though. Like, what you need to stay with her for then if she on this type of timing? Me personally, that's why I'm asking you, bro. I'm asking you that. Anything with anything else and stuff, or? Mm, I mean, I've, like, before, like, once when the relationship was barely new, she, like, she would message uh, on Instagram and stuff, but, like, never, like, link up with nobody. It was just pure messages and stuff, but I mean. Bro, if a girl's cheating on you, it doesn't matter if it's physically, through a phone, it does not matter, bro. It's all the same thing. I, like, I cannot go through a girl phone, bro. Even if I don't go through it, I cannot sit there, have a dude text my girl, she opens the messages, and I see they, they text, and it's on some flirtation shit, and I stay with her, bro. That is beyond me. <laughs> like, that would never happen. Ever. Over my dead body? Like, real talk, over my dead body, bro? That's never happening, bro. Like, I don't know how y'all niggas be staying through this, bro. I can't do it. Me, personally. That's just me, though. Uh, I got too much respect for myself. Like, I guess her side, because her past boyfriend kind of, like, cheated on her and stuff. So, like, I mean, I guess you could say there's trauma there, too. So Stop. I want to hear it. Now it's going to be a little bit more than a year. So, I want to like, hear you that. You really like this girl. You really want to be with this girl. I, mean, I honestly do. It's just that I just want her to tell me stuff, like, be open about her emotions and stuff and, like, about just everything. I want nothing hidden between us. So. Come on, bro. You can do... I'm sorry for pausing, bro. This thing can do so much more better, bro. Like, there is no way this dude is out here, like, acting like this over a girl, bro. Like... I just want her to tell me about her. I just want her to tell me about herself. I just want her to express herself. Nigga, she's cheated on you. What you want her to express herself for? There is nothing to talk about anymore. There is nothing to talk about. Once you saw the, once you heard about her coworker kissing her, bro. Bro, come on, man. This is sad. I don't even want to watch this video, bro. Cause I already know she's cheating on me, bro. Like, nigga, I know. And I'm four, I'm three minutes into this motherfucker, bro. And I know she's in on you, bro. Like, bro, it doesn't, bro. Okay. And then I'm I done. I don't know what's going on in the story as well, too. Cause I like, can't yap, friend, I don't bro. Work there no more. Or she doesn't tell me stuff. So. Oh, so you guys used to work there together? Yeah, for a good while. But then I ended up leaving. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Is that how you met her? Like yeah, from working there? Yeah. Okay. The reason I asked Eric, if really never date a girl you've met at a job, bro. Never do that. Cause if one of y'all leave. It's GG's. I want to be with this girl Promise. is because there are way too many red flags in this relationship. I'm I mean, saying. She is kissing people, talking to people, deleting messages. It's too much. Personally, I would have ended things a long time ago. A while ago. This after the first red flag I've seen. Though, is crazy. I see that as an outsider looking in, though. Like, if I really were to put myself in his shoes and in his situation, who knows if I'd also be blinded by love. I want to say I wouldn't be. No, I wouldn't. Who knows? I love somebody, but I would never be, Bro, I'm never tolerating disrespect. That's the difference, bro. He's tolerating disrespect over love like there's certain things you cannot like you know what i'm saying bro like i will let a lot of things lie when it comes to me and my girl bro because i'm a ride or die type of dude bro that's just me as a that's just me as a dude bro i'm a ride or die type of guy but bro you are cheating on me is not one of them bro i'm not sticking by your side and you doing me dirty like that bro how bro at that point nigga why is you my you not my girl bro she, she belongs to the street like you know what i'm saying bro like that is not my girl that ain't my bitch it ain't so why the fuck do I got a whole loyalty to her? Why, why the fuck I gotta do that? Makes no sense. So I, I just don't get that. I don't get that. For trying to understand her I'm done, bro. Trauma, but that shouldn't justify her behavior. If she wants to do everything that she's doing, fine. Just stay single. But I mean, hey, who are we to judge? We're just here to help Eric. No, we're here to judge. How do you, do you think she's going to pass or you think she's going to fail the test? I mean, I she's think failing. things have been going a little good for a bit right now. So oh I my God, bro. He's delusional. Like pass, if she's Is that her? It's like, it's not like she hasn't hurt me already, so. <laughs> I used to. Oh, yeah. I, I used to. Can we take a quick picture? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, thank you for I'm used to watching. <laughs> Did she have something going on with her coworker and stuff? Or like, was it just like a, that kiss on the cheek and like That's this texting? Thing. I feel like if she never would have got caught or whatever they would have told me, I don't know what could have led up to. Right. But 
Like, I just don't All want right, to be doing too much business out there. Yeah, I know. I feel it. I feel it. You just don't know what might have happened, I guess. Yeah. We talk about stuff, like, probably, like, many times. And it's kind of like the same thing over and over again. It's just, I feel like, kind of, now she kind of gets it more. But it's still just kind of like the same stuff over and over Okay. I just wanted to get it. And yeah. I can't force it on her, but if she doesn't want to do it, she could just tell me. Like, yeah. Or we don't work out or whatever. Have you given her the opportunity to say that to you? Have you given her the opportunity to like have that conversation? Yeah, I've given her an opportunity to tell her like, do you want to be with me or not? She says she wants to, so okay. that's why you keep going through. Like, I know it's not something easy to say to someone you don't want to be with them, but right. I feel like she could do that with me. Yeah. Eric's right. It isn't easy to tell someone that, but it's necessary. It ain't cool to lead someone on and then tell them you really want to be with them when you don't know. Honestly, it's either yeah, you want to be with them or no. You <laughs> the don't. playback Maybe video. <laughs> in the middle does more harm than good. Did you see her, Leslie? I think I did. Uh, she works in that section yeah, to the left. Okay. Cool. So dairy section to the left. She'll probably come out right now. She's the only girl there. So yeah, I mean, okay. probably her. Bro, why does that look like an off-market like? It's her. Oh, that... to... This is the customer. Bro, it's my audio. Oh, right? Wait, who's that guy? I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> there was already a guy talking to her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my job is done. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Bro, they're teasing him about it. Oh, he's kind of cute though. <laughs> <laughs> that was good camera cold. Yeah. Which iPhone is this? <laughs> These boys are over joking about it. <laughs> With Jared now knowing where Emily was and what she looked like, he would be laughing. The store and get her number. Phase number one was officially in full swing. All right, it did so. How confident are you that she's going to pass the test? I mean, as long as she just says she has a boyfriend and then okay. um, tells me about the nigga high as hell or something. Because, okay. like, I mean, if someone comes up to her and just asks her questions and stuff, kind of like the guy was doing, like, I don't expect her to tell me that like, that's pointless. In the way. I just want, like, when someone's doing a little extra stuff, that's why I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Okay. okay. I told him first to like kind of like shop around, make it seem all legit, and then he's gonna make his move. <laughs> Don't forget your talkies. The last was to discreetly follow Jared around, getting a solid angle, but not following too close as to get caught. After pretending to shop around for a bit, Jared eventually makes his way to the dairy section of the store. <laughs> nice to know that you guys still there. <laughs> that would be crazy. The guy who was talking to Emily was no longer there, but neither was Emily. There was absolutely no sign of her. It was crickets. The worst case scenario was happening. We had done our reconnaissance, yet somehow things still played out this way. My best guess was- Where'd she, was she go? From taking a leak, in the back grabbing something, or worse, on a break. Thankfully, after waiting for some time though, she eventually returned. All right, she's back. Here we go. This is it. Hey, right, man. Excuse let's see if, first of all, let's see if Buddy can even pull her. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Hey, can I get your advice on something, please? Let's see, man. We already know that she cheated, bro. I don't got no All faith right, in her. So, trying to cook like this no big disrespect. ass meal. What's the best thing over here? What would you get? Like peaks or anything? Or anything. Like. Bro, where the fuck is she at? What's your favorite? What, you, what would you go for? You cook? A little bit. Okay. So she a little Latina joint. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie, them shit joints be. So if you was playing, you gonna say that? Damn, it kind of sounds like she's like not giving him any conversation. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like she's keeping it work related right now. I mean, that's how she usually is. Oh, okay, got it. I know you ain't going through the make ready to make fried rice. No, I said like, I'm trying to go like all. Who the out. fuck is in the cart? Like pasta. Pasta, bread, chicken. Hell yeah, I'm black. It might just be me, but I don't really feel like Emily's giving Jared too much conversation. This could have been due right. to stress, annoyance, or concentration in her job, or like Eric said, maybe she's just like that, a very quiet person. This it? Okay. Try to go all out. Would you pair this with like some uh, wine or what? Yeah. Okay. Garlic bread. Help me out. Definitely Latina. <laughs> Definitely Latina. I have a question. Damn, right when this test was really about to start and things were gonna get good, Emily gets pulled away by another customer. Oh. She said, just give me a second. I think someone else asked for help. She said, just give me a second, though? Like start cooking. Like, I could see where he was taking this thing. And she was with it, too. Like, she was down to help him in everything. Like, he was about to bag that number. This yeah, is only quick. phase I'll one, though. Go ahead, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. I'm gonna take a lap. Hey, this thing ain't over yet, though. Remember, for phase one, all Jared yeah. had to do was just get her number. Should we have to see? Okay, 
like this. Jarrett had to wait for a good while. This lady needed help. It's funny, she used the same tactic that he used to talk to Emily. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> she just might be a little bit too busy in there, dude. Uh, oh, but I mean, the way she's kind of responding is just basic and boring. Which is what I tell you, just answer is simple. Like, mm -hmm. she's, oh, that's good. That's by, and that's you gotta get straight to the point, though. To be like, all extra and stuff. Uh -huh. I ain't lie though. Homie though, your girl, your girl is kind of thought though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your girl is thought though. She is thought though. But hey, bro, let's say she cheap, bro. She belongs to the streets though, man. You know what type of timing she is though. Hell yeah. Okay. So essentially, what I'm trying to do. But he's right smiling now, too much, bro. He must know. This whole meal. What about alcohol? What you think? Like liquor. Stuff? Liquor. Lit. You got Hennessy? Or just sitting though, I won't even hold. Is that your favorite? I don't drink, but I see people, you know, posting Casamigos. Does, does Casamigos go good with some garlic bread? I've drank with them before, she only took it like one cup, that's about it. Damn, we should have took, we oh, forgot. This? She smokes. Which one no. she drink with? No, she didn't smoke? Okay. Uh, hey, uh, you, you're supposed to be helping me out. Let's go. What's your name? I'm sorry. Jared, nice to meet you. Jarrett had finally introduced That's himself crazy. to Emily, and Let's I gotta see. say, everything up to this point sounded very professional. She also seems like a straight edge. I mean, she doesn't drink shit. I'm a little confused, because this person in the car is just following them around. <laughs> like, I would have already thought something was up if I was shorty. I ain't even gonna lie to doesn't you. smoke, she might have a very good chance at passing this test. But hey, then again, just because you don't drink or smoke doesn't mean you're loyal. That don't mean nothing. But I'm just saying. I mean, That's nothing. Right. I will say, though, if you smoke and drink, hey, bro, you're more prone to probably cheating, though. <laughs> I will say that, bro. I know. Some of y'all might get on me in the comments, bro. That's what I feel. You say you don't drink? I don't drink. I don't drink. Just a little, but not too. I just don't have fun yet. Latinas always say that. And then next thing you know, you three drinks here. I know how to drink. All right, all right, all right. So what, how about this? Which one would you drink with me? Stella Rose. Huh? Stella? She know about that Stella, bro. That's she know. That's the one you're gonna grab with me? Yeah. Which one? You gonna grab with me? Okay. That's it? Alright. Bro, she failing. I promise you, she's failing phase one. I already know she Some is. Microwavable rice. So when we, we when we gonna eat this together? Yeah, huh? This will be good? Okay. okay. I better not get copyright. I hear that song in the background. Here or if she just ignored it. But she dodged that good. Well, I'm about to take off. But listen, I don't want to say thank you. I just want to also say you cute as sh**. Let me grab your number. Let me grab your number. Woo! Woo! Okay! Hey! Hey! She passed! She passed! Hey, I have to take back every... You know what? No. No, no, no. It's not what we're going to do. No, 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 no. Let's not get excited now. Let's not get excited yet. She said, nah, I have a boyfriend. Bro, when the shawty asked the nah at the beginning, oh, she's serious, bro. She ain't trying to give you that shit, nigga. She said, nah, I have a boyfriend. She didn't even say, I all have a boyfriend. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. She didn't even, like, that's the one thing, bro. Bro, fellas, take notes, bro. Take notes. When your girl say, oh, I'm sorry. Nigga, what you apologizing for? What? Why are you apologizing? She said, nah, I got a boyfriend. Nah. Nah, I'm cool. Nah, I'm good off that. Hey, bro. Hey, man. I don't want to get too happy. Because why the fuck do we have the rest of a the video then? <laughs> but like, hey, man. She, hey, hey. I got a girlfriend. I'm teasing. I'm not. I ain't no way. I was That's about to say. Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah? Well, let me grab the Instagram at least. No. You sure? Let me take you out. I ask one more time. We'll grab it. No? All right, well. I want to say thank you at least, all right? Thanks. W! W, nigga! Yeah! Just like that, Emily turns down our deal. But that don't mean nothing, though. Now that I think about it, though, because he still has all these concerns about all the other stuff, like the co -worker. You got to think about it. She's probably not trying to get caught up with her own man, the co-worker. Mind you, the co-worker was just talking to her. You feel me? The co so we can't even honestly look at this. Oh man. Boy. She doesn't give out her number. She doesn't give out her IG, which means Don't get too excited though, buddy. Go into a phase 2. Yikes. I'm going to put this stuff back. <laughs> I mean, that's good enough for me. It's just that I feel like 
I don't know. I feel like if we would have done this in the beginning of our relationship, it probably would have been different. Different. I think she passed. All these dudes, uh, they uh, they keep looking at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, she, I really did disrespect Freddie though. I'm like, uh, she kept looking at what? Did she catch on? I don't know. I don't Wait, know. Whoa, he, he said like, something like she kept looking at. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Emily did pass, but it sounded like both Jared and Eric still showed some reservations. Like, wait, 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 what's going through your mind? What are you thinking? I mean, I don't know. No, I guess the only doubts I would have in my mind is like maybe he wasn't attractive enough for her. But I don't, I don't. he wasn't really. <laughs> That's some down bad shit to say. Maybe he just wasn't attractive enough for her. It's crazy though. I ain't gonna lie. It doesn't even come down to that. It comes down to the way he was risen her. If he really wasn't risen her like that, then she's not going. If a nigga's really risen her like that, bro, trust me, she is going. Trust me. And it's sad to say about a lot of these females, bro, you, the only reason why I'm saying that about her, though, is because she's already displayed qualities of, you know what I'm saying, the right dude just has to come up to her, you feel me? I feel like he might be right about that, bro. Either the looks or it's the riz, bro. It's one or the other, bro. Real talk. Mm -hmm. But it's only okay. phase one. It's, so it sounds like you still almost, like, still don't really trust it because there might be someone who she will fi mm -hmm. find more attractive. Yeah. But so I, it still sounds like you're like kind of like hesitant and not super yeah, trusting of her just yeah. yet. I just feel like it just has to be built more because like she's honestly like stuff she does, she kind of like broke it already. But uh -huh. with stuff like this, her telling me like stuff like, oh, some guy came up to me and called me beautiful and stuff. Mm. Like, they're telling me stuff like that and it kind of builds it back up. And all that. Yes. Like I said, there's always going to be kind of a doubt. But it's yeah. just, that like, is true. Kind of that is true. To, hey, Pete, Pete what he said also too. If his girl was to come home after work and tell him, hey, some guy hit, hit, was trying to get my number out of work and stuff like that, just to tell him, bro. He, she's not going to be able to tell him who he was, his information or anything like that, but just to tell him out of the respect that somebody did that to her. You know what I'm saying? That shows all. That, that actually shows signs of loyalty, bro. Not even signs. That shows that she's loyal, bro. Because she's not going to expect whatever buddy's name right here is um, to know. You know what I'm saying? And she's just going to be openly telling him, bro. So you got to think about it like that, man. Eric's reservations honestly make sense to me. Like, this guy wanted to keep it going to a phase two. I don't think he wanted her to fail. I think he just wanted to keep it going to see how she acts with guys that she does consider, quote unquote, friends or homies. Which, again, makes sense considering she had a thing what she's on done it, to him in the past. I'll be nice and put this stuff back. Now let's talk about Jared's reservations because this is where things take a twist. Before we get into it though, let's give this girl some credit. Like she did pass this test, didn't give out her number. Gotta give credit where credit is. Gotta there. give it where it's due. Out of the way though. But that's Jared it. Jared would tell us later that he felt like some male employees were giving him looks. Maybe this was just him being paranoid, but maybe it was true. Maybe just maybe when Emily was distracted I'm or telling you. by the other customer, these guys tipped her off. Maybe these guys noticed Elias suspiciously always trailing Jared and they alerted Emily as a courtesy. Maybe they were just trying to look out for her like, hey, these guys are recording a video, be careful. Or maybe they alerted her out of jealousy. I mean, remember guys, the times that Eric caught Emily essentially cheating was with her coworkers. For one guy, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and like, she was cool with it. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like... no, a coworker. Oh, a coworker. Mm -hmm. The other guy, his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work, they also like kissed and stuff. I'm like. Oh, damn. It's just a conspiracy theory, right? But looking back at the footage, after Emily helped those customers, she made direct eye contact with the camera multiple times. Something really? she hadn't done when initially just talking to Jerry. Bro, so it was what type of hiding camera did y'all have? She spotted it or somebody told her. And the fact that Jared said that these guys were all staring at him and giving him looks and she was looking at them just makes me suspicious. Bro, these guys are... <laughs> They're not discreet at all. Like, That's what I'm saying, like, bro. They're both just like leave the store at the same time. Facts. I mean, that's all I could ask for, man. Honestly, for right, for right now. She just texted you, literally. Yeah. Oh, so a guy complimented me, just letting you know. That's all I could ask for. That's a, hey, that's a W, then. That's a W. I really talked crazy about bro. Nah, he got himself a W chick. He got himself a W girl, bro. That's real. She was like, ah, I can't. I was like, oh, she was speaking. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah okay. She almost folded. Her, her texting you like that though, is that normal? This is what we talked about literally like Thursday, Friday. Nigga, she did not almost fold. <laughs> she did not almost fold. She said, nah, I have a boyfriend. Bro, that's why I say y'all got a peep game. That's different from a female saying, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I, I'm okay. Nah, she said, nah, I have a boyfriend. Like she said, nah. Like, I'm cool. I'm straight off that. 
He said not nah, she almost fought. Nigga, she ain't almost fought, bro. But hey, bro, we got, we got some so more left of this video. I guess this is the first time she's done it. Okay. Yeah, so. But I mean, the thing though is like, it's, it's conversations that we've had like long ago. So like, I don't know why it, it took so long just to like, I right, instantly text them as soon as dudes walk out. That was a W. Like, even though she don't care that stuff, I've never like stopped liking her in a way. Like, mm. I think I'm really in deep for her and stuff. It's just that's what he got to chill out with, bro. Cause let's just be real, bro. Until you put a ring on a shawty's finger, bro. And even then, when you do that, bro, you just really have to know a person, bro. They have to have show multiple signs of just respect and every all all qualities like that for you to be talking the way he's talking, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, just off of what he has said about her, bro, he should not be talking like this. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, it just sounds bad for him, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really bad. For, I'm really down for her. I'm really, like, I'm really in deep for her. Like, hey, my nigga, relax, bro. Relax, bro. You did hear that she was getting her face kissed by another dude at work. Like, relax, dude. Come on. Lock in. Like, I guess it's stuff that hurts, but it's just more, like, affected, like, my trust for her. Maybe she don't like black guys, I don't know. <laughs> I hate to sound like this, but honestly, Emily sending Eric that text makes me even more suspicious. Again, I hate to sound like a what? conspiracy theorist, but I can't help but think that she's trying to save face or look good. She caught on or she was tipped off. If all of you guys are out, I just got to I mean, Man, what? what? Me, I'm like, Shit. I gotta like take a lap, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, at the end of the day, though, this is all our fault. Like, we should have approached this test differently. We should have ensured Eric a deeper test with a one on one alone conversation with our decoy. No distractions, no customers, no co workers. This one was for sure on us. We were just too ambitious with it. Do you think your trust will ever fully come back for her? I mean, as long as she keeps doing like good like this, I don't see why there's stuff that I got to doubt for. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Show her the video, and I'm sure every guy who hits on her, she's gonna think I it's a test. I don't even. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Shit. Every guy who walks up to her now and compliments her, she's gonna be yeah, like, like "Where's the yep. camera?" Hey, I ain't even gonna lie. That <laughs> is true. <laughs> that is very true. When I came over, another couple came, and they were like, um, they were asking her for stuff. So damn like, you, you, why you gotta wipe the cam? Trying to talk yeah. to her. Yeah. And I had to like get back in character, but I mean it was it was cool, man. What is it that you said towards the end? I think she was looking at the oh oh the guy workers like they like they were like they kept glancing at me, and so I'm like it's because you're flashy, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. It's he he said like, he's like. It's because you're flashy, bro. He did not want to say, hey, bro, because maybe she, like, this thing, all right, bro, this thing is in too deep. I mean, she would look at them, so I, kind of awkward a little bit. What guy worker was it? The, uh, it was like two guys. One had a hat backwards, I think it was. Then a light-skinned dude. But, um, but no, I almost got it. I almost got it. You, yeah, man, you're lucky. That's good. Yeah. yeah. No, but I was telling him, though, like, I just feel like if this energy would have been th towards the beginning of the relationship, it would have been way better. But, I mean, it's cool, like. It feels I, good to know, like, yeah. And do you think she's gonna let you know about this? Yeah, she did already. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, she texted him. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, that's W. So, that's God W. complimenting, just letting you know. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Jeez! She didn't see the Benz, though, so, you know, yeah. it was a full test. I can look. Come on, man. Part <laughs> two with the Benz! Hey, you know I mean? <laughs> Regardless of our reservations and how overly ambitious this test was, I am still glad that Emily passed. Yeah, our yeah, test man. is already over. She but did Emily pass did it. the best thing she could possibly do which is not give out her number or her instagram or instagram she didn't give out neither y'all do know them of the best but unfortunately they broke up yep hold on what's up eric how are you doing bro it's sergio you are just checking out hey what's up sergio really dope to hear from you man i've been lo loving the vids there bangers oh. <sighs> they didn't break up because of this test they broke up because emily cheated I, bro, oh my gosh, bro, just when I, my gosh, I wanted to praise her, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, just when I wanted to give her all the creds in the world, bro, she fucking cheated, <laughs> oh my god, these bitches ain't shit, bro, they aren't, they aren't, they aren't, they aren't, she definitely saw the camera, she saw the camera, either she saw the camera, bro, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something, few things, she either saw the camera, and she decided to, you know what I'm saying, debunk that whole situation and not give her number or Instagram. Or she thought bro was not attractive at all. Or 
she was messing with one of the dudes from work. It's it's one of the three things, bro. It's one of the three. I'd be surprised if she cheated, cheated with a random person, bro. Like, this is crazy. What did you even pass the test for? That's why I said, bro. It, it really comes down. She probably just didn't like the dude, bro. That is crazy. Yo, oh my gosh. No, bro. No, man. No. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yep. They didn't break up because. Damn, why my shit turned down so low? All right, let me make sure everything. Because of this test. They broke up because Emily cheated. Fuck, bro. Again. Yeah. Go figure. I have two two guy friends that work there, and they always kind of like kept an eye out for stuff. They would tell me it's like, oh, she's doing this, or she's doing that. So I guess when we're doing the video, right? My friend said he saw one of the coworkers with her, like doing some stuff. Dude, I ended up getting mad too, and then I ended up going to the store. I was honestly gonna kick his ass, but then I thought about, it. I was like, bro, because that was the the, the the first thing he said when I got him was like, get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops. And I'm like, bro, I'm not sure if she kept doing stuff with that guy but then there was this other two that worked there too that i thought we were cool but he ended up like i guess talking shit on my back and stuff like saying like oh why are you with that guy you deserve better and stuff and i was like bro this was like this was a bum she, she would always tell me like oh don't worry about him like you know how girls are they say don't worry about him he's nothing and then they end up doing some stuff like but then to top it off after like i think there was another dude like kind of manager that Okay, I am not going to got me to do the order. business out there. I think you guys get the point. Like I said from the very beginning, if this girl wants to be doing all of this and talking to other guys or whatever, that's fine. Just stay single. She's obviously pretty and stuff. So obviously, other guys try getting at her, but it's like it's on her to like obviously not entertain them and stuff. Yeah, this was absolutely insane, man. For for a twenty one minute. Loyalty test, bro. This was crazy, bro. This was crazy, man. I, I, I don't even know if I really want to do the whole relationship ish no more, bro. This shit is just crazy, man. Like, this shit is insane, bro. Like, <laughs> I gave her so much credit too, bro. So much credit. It's for her to do some bullshit like this. <laughs> hey, man, I'll see y'all in the next one. Roll the tank. I'm out this.